So what are our top six mood vampires? The things that sap away our positive mood, the things that bring us back from the green zone. So just have a quick chat on your table about what you think are the things that have had the most impact on your, most negative impact on your mood in the last week. Is it lack of exercise? Is it not having enough time with friends? Is it pain in the ass workers? Is it, you know, what is it? <laughs> have, a, have a two minute chat. All right, can we just have a bit of quiet? Lots of things, lot, seems like there's lots of mood sappers out there, lots of mood vampires. I surveyed uh, 470 people, Australians, in the last, um, just recently asked them what were their biggest mood vampires. Who'd like to have a hazard a guess of what number one was? Exercise, very good, that's close, but it's not number one. Yeah. Number one. Oh, oh. Not getting enough quality sleep each night. 60% of people said that, that negatively influenced their mood in the last week. Just take that as a given. Number two, not enough exercise. Now I would say that those two are very closely related. Yeah. 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 And number three, I would also argue financial stress oh, yeah. is also very closely related to those three. Yeah. So the top three, I can see lots of overlap there. Can you see that? Lots of overlap? Not enough me time. Who relates to that? Not enough to quality time with family and friends and not counting my blessings enough. You know, you can see there's lots of things that, that impact, negatively impact our mood. And so as we move through the strategies today, you know, I hope that you, know, you choose something that will have the, the biggest impact on you.